Hey Timberland, Apple just released a new product, the iPhone 13, an even bigger phone with more cameras. Which begs the question, how does Android and Apple affect students at THS? Which one do students prefer and why? Let's take a deeper look. Uh, having, uh, what was it called? Uh, the lock screen being able to be moving is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, probably Samsung, because it's the only one I've ever known. Um, it's just a lot easier for me to use, personally. Um, probably my camera. It's not the best, but, you know, it allows me to take pictures of cool things like the sunrise or sunset, things like that. The camera, for sure. It's fantastic. I grew up with Android, so I'm fine with both. Yeah, the camera, the emojis are different. I don't know. The blue text. Many students enjoy a variety of features from the new phones, including the camera, face ID, larger screens, dark mode, and cellular data. So there you have it. Apple and Android will not be releasing new devices until late 2022, with Apple rumored to have major design changes. This is Carter Winston, back to the studio.